Hello, and welcome back to Wind Railway Studio. Here is an unboxing and discussion of the Breakdown Train from 2004. Now, if you can't tell, I'm using a new camera. So, I hope this video is uh, pretty good. <laughs> it might be a little rough, because I'm learning how to use the camera. But just so you knew, in case you noticed, the video was quite different than my previous ones. Now, like I was saying, here is the breakdown train. It's from 2004. As you see on the back. Let's look at it more up close. I'll be unboxing it and then discussing it as well. On the package it says it has a special feature, which is the magnetic lifting arm. Hauls, vehicles, and cargo. It has made of real wood, Thomas Wynn Railway. Logo, there's a character card and stuff included. Let's see on the back. We have like different information, detailed graphics, magnet connectors, real wood construction, durable finish. The logo again, and then all this information on the bottom. Now, let's see how I will do this. Hopefully this will be smooth. Because <laughs> it has quite an amount of packaging on the inside. Let's see. Right there. Here in this nice little case. We have the pamphlet and the character card which I will read aloud. When an engine is in distress, it's breakdown, train to, it's breakdown train to the rescue. Its magnetic lifting arm helps any vehicle back up on the tracks or to the repair shop. Shows the uh, character, and then here's the car on the front. That has the pamphlet. I'll get into that later if I have time. Let's see the breakdown train up close. Now let's look at it all around first. <laughs> it's a perfect shape. Move my uh, blocks here. Okay. Let's get on. Let's get to looking at the piece itself. Here is the flatbed. It's dated 2003, but the package is dated 2004. Learning curve from 2003, since 2003, uh, and then not, uh, but they didn't do it. You know how they went out of business. They can't do it anymore. <laughs> but, uh, what do you call it? But they actually put uh, the wrong name, uh, the wrong dates <laughs> on the bottom. So the v so the train could be from 2008, but it has 2003 date on the bottom, which confuses a lot of people. But here's the flatbed. It's in perfect condition, like I said. Not a scratch mark on it. I can help carry engines or rolling stock. Or just pieces of cargo. Anything you really want to put on top of the flatbed. Now here is the breakdown crane itself. Its arm moves up all the way back. And then all the way forward. So keep it like that. And also the body can tilt. All around. So here's the breakdown train, his name, then we also have the hook right here, 
which is magnetic. As you see, there is a uh, little circular thing in the middle of the flatbed. So the magnets cook together, and then you can lower the crane head, and then the magnetic piece in here connects to the flatbed. Which is nice, because, I mean, it's very easy. And then Percy can come in and take it away. It's really nice. Uh, I mean, I, I always needed a better breakdown train. If you see my episodes, <laughs> my breakdown train before was not in good condition. I even had two breakdown cranes and one flatbed, which is kind of odd. But let's now get into the pamphlet since I think we have a little bit of time to. Let me open it up carefully so I don't damage it in any way. Okay, here we go. Almost. <laughs> Here you go. Right there. Now this is going to be a little different than the way I normally do it. I'm not going to show the pamphlet to the camera. I'm going to move the camera to the pamphlet just so it's, you know, easier. So here's the classic characters and some of the not-so-classic characters like Boko and... Mavis, a couple of pieces of rolling stock, some narrow gauge engines, the uh, Thomas and the Magic Railroad trains, the limited edition vehicles. It's always neat looking back at these old pamphlets and yearbooks and things because it's neat to see what they originally had out on the market and here are some of our roadway friends let me flip this over some track accessory packs some battery powered friends some other things that you may need. And a whole bunch of other stuff, which is really neat to look at, such as the sets, like Down by the Dock set, the Day at the Work set, which is always a great one to have. Oh, I would love the Roundhouse set, and the Lift and Load set as well. Another set I would like is the 100-piece set. That one's... That one, uh... Wasn't sold that much, but it's really easy to collectively purchase the set. And what I mean by that is you don't have to buy the whole set at once since it doesn't feature any true exclusive pieces in it. It's pretty easy to obtain when you get all of the parts together. Let me just get everything all neat. <laughs> well, thank you for viewing my video. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel and share my videos on any social media that you belong to. Thank you. I hope you like this video. Thank you. Goodbye.